All right, so in this video, I'll be talking about Shovel Knight, Trevor Trove, and what I've played of it so far, and my impressions, and a little bit of the research I've done around the game. All right, before we get started, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button, and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. All right, so there'll be links down there for our Twitch and Twitter, as well as my personal links as well. Uh, go check me out. I'll be streaming regular, regularly again. You can look at my schedule on my Twitch channel. There'll also be links down there for our merch as well as all of uh, Amazon affiliate links to this game and Amazon directly if you guys want to bookmark those and use them in the future to, to give a little kickback to the channel if you guys buy anything. Alright, so I first learned of this game when I was looking at the Amiibos and they weren't coming out for a while and then I was wondering why it hadn't exactly. Um, I don't know if this was released at any other time on the Switch. It says it was in 2017, but um, I'm not understanding or seeing that. Uh, let me know down in the comments if it like was digital only in 2017 and they finally did the physical copy maybe? I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know. So this game is developed and published by Yacht Club Games, which you can see down in the bottom of the screen. So this was originally uh, crowdfunded on Kickstarter, which I had no backing on. I barely um, have heard about this game. I didn't realize it was a big thing. So it's a 2D side-scrolling adventure platformer game. It originally released on Windows, 3DS, and, and Wii U in June of 2014, and then it was ported, ported to uh, Mac OS and Linux in September of that year, as well as PS3, PS4, PS Vita, Xbox One, all in the next following year. Now it's gonna go into the uh, little opening dialogue, which is cool. Oh, it didn't. That's interesting. It didn't actually uh, go into the opening dialogue. Then it was released on Amazon Fire TV, which is another interesting one, uh, in, in September of 2015. And, Nova and then Nintendo Switch in March of 2017, but I didn't see that. Maybe that was digital only. Again, let me know down in the comments, because uh, I know of it of coming out in, in December of 2019. That's when I got it. Um, I actually got it last month in January of uh, 2020, but I knew it came out and I just hadn't got it yet. All right, so I'm, I have read that this is the um, full title, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. I don't know if it was just not released that way or it was released in parts. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I do know that they uh, announced a spinoff title called Shovel Knight Dig. Um, I don't know too much about that, but um, that's supposed to be coming out soon. Okay, so since it was released on so many um, platforms, they also have user or they also have platform specific features like the 3DS had Street um, had Street Pass, and the, the Nintendo Switch has Amiibos, which I think use. I don't know if it works on the 3DS or not, but uh, so those are very specific things that some versions have. Alright, so it looks like there's multiple campaigns, which I haven't gotten into very much. I haven't played very much, um, as you guys will see that I only have played 45 minutes. It felt like a lot longer. I have died a lot. I'm not too good at this. Um, it's definitely a different type of side-scrolling game and platformer, 2D side-scrolling platform. It's a lot different than I usually play but as you can see in the corner you can do co-op as well as amiibo support you can have up to 10 profiles oh you have more you have 20 profiles okay and then you can copy them so i assume the copy is so that you can i can now pick up where that one left off and maybe change what i do i'm not exactly sure but let's go ahead and jump into my first one Oh, gotta get out of the copy part. There you go. So I'm playing Shovel Knight, uh, Shovel of Hope, as you saw. And so I'm here. I've done a few of them. I haven't done that one. I've done this one. See, that's clear. Village. And the beginning part. Um, I've been stuck on this one for a little bit. Um. I haven't used any of the amiibos yet. Um, I definitely will grab those in a second. And, but, so the main one, main uh, part of the game is your shovel knight, you jump, you can use your shovel, that's you, how you attack, as well as interact with certain things on the map to um, either jump, so there's like this guy you jump on, you jump on and it makes you jump higher, and use your shovel to jump, 
and then that guy's a uh, frog, and it's electric sometimes. Didn't that time, but they, that one's electric. See, they turn on the electric every once in a while, but and so you're just attacking. Um, you have. Uh, relics and you have gear. I haven't upgraded mine yet. Um, I'm sure I get more stuff as well as music sheets Which you collect throughout the game which are the collectible aspect of that um, and I'm sure you get a lot more relics as well. See all these spots open up and I'm sure you get one for every night. Maybe I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Let me know down in the comments um, So this is always what confuses me because B does not take you out of the menu you have to actually hit X, which is not normal. I don't think I, it feels different for me. Um, y and A do the exact same thing, except for if you're holding the um, the D-pad. Then, uh, like you saw right there, if you hold up, for, at least for me, I have the item attached, and I can actually use that item and fire. Um, so far, I, I like the aspects. Uh, it's definitely different. I'm not sure. I'm not good at it, as you can see. I'm already halfway dead. But um, and then you have these ghosts that show up too, which I'm not 100% sure how you. I don't think you can kill them, which is one of my problems. But Let's go ahead and go to the next area so I don't get... So there's a bomb under that one. I played through this already. I got stuck at the boss and had to go back. And I died a few times. And it's all this. But it's really fun. Um, so you got your menu. You got your options. Game. It's very, very small menu. Shows facts. I'm assuming tells you more about the game. Um, and then language. Obviously is changing the language. Um... I'm not sure if it was just grayed out to... Yeah, it's just grayed out because it's not selected, so... Okay. And then you got controls. You can change certain things. Oh. I changed. I changed it. I think that was right. That one? No. Nope. That one? Yeah. Change that back. So you can change your com confirm and cancel. Uh, your alchemy quick select. You can turn that off and on. Quick select. Um... Uh, sub weapon input type. Oh, okay. So you can choose what you're doing here. That's really cool. Okay. And then you got edit. Yeah, it's very much designed to be um, more like a maybe a, I think it's Super Nintendo. I think because it's got bumpers too. So I think it'd be a Super Nintendo, not not the regular Nintendo. But then you got music. Got video with brightness and scaling but I don't need that um and then accessibility which is nice it's very small set but at least there's something that's always great and so that's all your options you got body swap which I think is you can set your so I've been playing as a female or is that male I don't actually know <laughs> whoops um I think that's female though and that's male I've been playing as male. I'm not sure it actually. Maybe it has. I never noticed. Oops. Go back in there. So I didn't know you actually changed that. And I'm guessing that the circle is a non binary, which is kind of cool. That it will try to not use um, specific. Uh, pronouns, that's what the word I was looking for. And so these are the defaults. So Shovel, or Shield Knight must be, is a woman. And the rest of them are males, I think. I'm not number center, except for the Enchantress, which is a female. But you, that's cool, you can actually go change them. And change the gender, essentially. I don't know if it changes the art look, uh, or the, the look of them. Let me know down in the comments if it does. Um, it seems like it does because it changes at least, um, text. So I assume it's also going to be doing that. And you got feats, so these are like achievements. And I've done a few. But not too many. Only one. But, 
I haven't also I have also, I also haven't unlocked playing through as any of these, not that I know of at least. Or how to do that. Let me know down in the comments if there's a thing I'm missing to do it that way, but for the most part this is a interesting game and I definitely like it. I I like the aspect of it. I'm not great at it. Um I think that I have to play it a lot more and try to get better at platforming. Um, I've been playing a lot of Apex and so I'm more in that mindset than this right now, but I plan on playing some other Switch games and so I plan on trying to get better at this, but uh, let me know down in the comments what uh, games you guys have been playing and what games you want me to review, uh, as well as uh, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. Uh, There'll be links down there for our Twitch, Twitter, as well as my personal Twitch and Twitter. Um, my stream schedule will be up on my Twitch page by the time you guys see this, as well as uh, there'll be a, our merch link is also down there if you guys want to buy some merch and support the channel that way or through Amazon at no extra cost to you. If you guys use one of your, the affiliate links, you'll give a kickback to the channel when you buy something, as well as a link down to, uh, in the description for this game that goes to Amazon. And that's also a filling link. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.